Hello, hello. Good evening, everyone. Welcome back, Mr. Melendez. Good evening, teacher. <laughs> Ayer se me fue la luz. That's okay, don't worry about it. All right, no problem. No se preocupe. Hello, sir. Friday. Friday, you know, I don't know if that makes a difference, but it's Friday. <laughs> No sé si hace la diferencia, ¿verdad? Pero es viernes. <laughs> and then we have Floor. Welcome. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. So, Raúl, I cannot hear you. Good evening, he says. Sorry. Yeah. Yes, sir. All right. Teacher, ya completé la, ya completé toda la, de la plataforma. Everything. La, sí. Nice. <laughs> That's good. That's good. Thanks. Okay. Good evening. Good evening, sir. Yes, I can hear you. Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. Yes. Tenía problemas técnicos. Yeah, technical problems. Technical mm -hmm. problems. That's how you call it. All right. And now I hear you, you know, I can hear you uh, clear and loud, verdad, fuerte y claro, clear and loud, All right? All right, so let's start then, because we, we have to be punctual. I know it's Friday, and based on my experience in these classes, yes, some people might be, you know, padding. That's why, no, just kidding. <laughs> or, or, you know, or they take a plane. O agarraron, they take a plane, ¿verdad? O agarraron el avión. <laughs> We're not destiny. We're not destiny, right? <laughs> We're not destination. <laughs> All right. I'm just kidding over there. So I'm sharing a screen right now. All right. And uh, this is the last thing we did yesterday. So um, let me just one second over here. All right. So um, let's see. Here we go. That's better. So the last activity we completed yesterday was about time. Okay. So you learn how to say uh, the time in different ways, like uh, a quarter uh, after three, uh, 7.45, for example, for a quarter to eight. And then you learn how, how to say it's 9 p.m. or it's nine in the evening. And uh, like this one, it says it's 12 o'clock at night. So las 12 de la noche or it's midnight. So this is what we covered yesterday. Okay, this is what we covered yesterday. All right. And today we will continue 
talking about this, talking about time expressions, uh, you will learn how to use on, in, and at. All right? So, en esta clase van a aprender a utilizar. All right? In, on, y, uh, y, uh, at. All right? In, on, at. For time, time expressions. Okay? So, let me stop sharing this. And then we take it for that. All right. Here we go. Let's see. Let me just check my my phone. All right. So welcome, Eduardo. Welcome, sir. All right. Thank you. Bye. All right. So here we go. All right, so let's go ahead and start with the word of the night. And this is the one that I have for you this evening, everyone. Okay. The phrase is third times or the third time is a charm. The third time is a charm. Lo que yo dicen, what they say. Imagine, uh, Eduardo, you tell me, yeah, the third time is a charm. So don't give up. I told you, right? What it means. ¿Qué significa third times is, is a charm? This means after no success for the first time, for the first two times, the third try is the lucky one. La tercera es la vencida. La tercera es la vencida. That's what we're saying over here. So third time is a charm. How to use it in a sentence? So how to use it in a sentence? And uh, we have maybe he'll get lucky after all, the third time is a charm. La tercera es la vencida. So the phrase that I have for you this evening is this one. ¿Verdad? How do you say in Spanish, verdad, que no hay no sé qué malo, algo así, something like that you say, right? Um, so that's the phrase, okay? On the other side of my screen, uh, you will see this uh, clock, of course, and then I'm I'm exemplifying this, right? Imagine that I don't know you uh, got married. I didn't say que usted se casó the first time. <laughs> then you got married a second time, <laughs> and then the third time was the <laughs> yeah. Is it me, my lord? Seré yo, señor, right? <laughs> okay, but the third one is. You know, the third one is a charm, okay? Third one or the third time is a charm. La tercera es la vencida. Or if you have children, si tienen hijos, ¿verdad? The first one, ah, ahí, ¿verdad? Más o menos. Number two, yeah, it's it's a good kid. Number three, it's a great uh, child. All right? So that may happen over there. La frase de esta noche, Cesar, you know, uh, the word of the day is la tercera es la vencida. All right? Third time is a charm. Charm is charisma or también is talisman. All right? Something that gives you uh, good luck. Yeah, that's a charm over there. All right? For example, if, if I said, uh, see, Anayansi, you are a charm person or a charming person, ¿verdad? Carismática. All right? So I can say that. No lo voy a decir ahorita, ¿verdad? So Eduardo, you are a charming person, right? Because that's weird, ¿verdad? So that's weird. <laughs> All right. So let's move on. Okay. The first activity you will be working uh, in this class, it's a listening exercise. And this one has to do with the time. Uh, I have on this screen five places, Vancouver, Bangkok, London, Tokyo, and Sao Paulo. As you know, so Vancouver, where is Vancouver located? Can somebody tell me where, where you can locate Vancouver? Uh-huh. Canada. It's in Canada, right? Yeah, that's correct. Vancouver is in Canada. It's in Canada, right? Yeah, it's located in Canada. And then Bangkok, is that Thailand? Thailand. Yes, correct. Of course, you know, 
Londres, aquí en Colombia. <laughs> London. United Kingdom. <laughs> right? United, United Kingdom. Kingdom. Correct. And then Tokyo is Japan and Sao Paulo is South America. Japan. Brazil. It's in Brazil. Yes, it's in Brazil. So right now you will listen to a, a conversation between yeah. two. So it's a conversation between two people. The boyfriend and I would say the girlfriend, right? Talking about their wedding plans. Okay, something about that. But the the uh, what matters in here is they are trying to call their friends in these uh, different parts of the world. Imagine que, 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 que eh, populares son. Tienen amigos acá en todos lados. <laughs> in my case, I would say en Zulután, en San Miguel, Mexicanos. <laughs> Locally, right? <laughs> okay. So, all you gotta do is to write the time. Okay? Just write the time over here. So, write it down, please. Okay. So, here we go. Let me just one second. En esa pantalla que le mostré solo va a escribir la hora. Just the time. Over there. Just the time. So bear with me just one second. Let me just one moment, please. Ahorita un momento. Vamos a share this with the audio. And all right. And here we go. Okay, so I'm ready when you're ready. Yes? Let's do it. Yes? Le damos. All right, so let's roll the dice over here. All right, okay. Here we go. Page 32, exercise four, listening. It's 4 p.m. in Vancouver. Tracy and Eric are calling friends in different parts of the world. Listen. What time is it in these cities? What time is it now, Eric? It's 4 o'clock. Okay. It's 4 p.m. here in Vancouver, so it's 7 a.m. in Bangkok. I'm calling Permsock. Now? He's sleeping. Oh, you're right. Well, let's call your friend Ian. What time is it in London? It's 1 a.m. Oh, that's late. What time is it in Tokyo? 9 a.m. Great. I'm calling Mariko. Wait a minute. She's in Sao Paulo this week, remember? Oh, right. Well, I have her phone number in Sao Paulo. What time is it there? Um, it's 9 in the evening. She's probably watching television. So are you calling her? Sure. We have to tell someone we're getting married. All right. So that's it. Do you want to listen uh, to it a second time? I mean, you let me know, please. Do you need to listen this a second time? Or are we okay with this? Are you fine with this? So it's up to you. So let me know, please. So don't worry about that. Second time. Or are we okay? All right, so thank you, Eduardo. Thanks for nodding your head. <laughs> okay, so here we go. And um, I know it's Friday, it's difficult to be here, but we'll do our best, you know, to keep this class, you know, as, as smooth as possible. All right. Page 32, exercise four, listening. It's 4 p.m. in Vancouver. Tracy and Eric are calling friends in different parts of the world. Listen. What time is it in these cities? What time is it now, Eric? It's 4 o'clock. Okay. It's 4 p.m. here in Vancouver, so it's 7 a.m. in Bangkok. I'm calling Permsock. Now? He's sleeping. Oh, you're right. Well, let's call your friend Ian. What time is it in London? It's 1 a.m. Oh, that's late. What time is it in Tokyo? 9 a.m. Great. I'm calling Mariko. Wait a minute. She's in Sao Paulo this week, remember? Oh, right. Well, I have her phone number in Sao Paulo. 
What time is it there? Um, it's nine in the evening. She's probably watching television. So are you calling her? Sure. We have to tell someone we're getting married. Okay. Nice. Now, uh, let me ask over here. So let me ask you. Uh, okay. All right, so welcome everybody. So I have Douglas, uh, David, uh, Claudia, Catherine, and hey, Mr. Good evening. Good evening, sir. Okay, so uh, this is what we're doing right now. So basically what you have to write is the date, I'm sorry, the, uh, the time uh, each person, you know, must be in each city over there, right? So, you know, that, that, the, the thing is that they're trying to call their friends which are around the world in different cities like Vancouver, Canada, Bangkok, Thailand, London, United Kingdom, Tokyo, Japan, Sao Paulo, Brazil, as you know, right? And the reason is you're, you're about to tell me. So what time is it in Bangkok? Let's see, I'm Raul. Uh, 7 a.m. Yes, all right. And uh, what is the friend? Let me ask you, what do you think the friend is doing right now? Like working? Sleeping. Sleeping, right? Correct. Yeah, sleeping, mm -hmm. right? That's what they said. All right. So, Eduardo, help us with London, please. What time is it there, sir? Eduardo, please. London, yes. 1 a.m. In London, yeah, that's true. That's true. It, it's 1 a.m., sir. Okay, uh, let's see who was in here uh, before uh, Caesar. So what time is it? Is it in Tokyo, sir? Uh, then I am. 10 or 9, excuse me. No, uh, no 10. All right, so I disagree with you, all right? So I disagree with you, but that's okay. I mean, that's okay. <laughs> yeah, you, you are close. You are close, right? Or pero esa hora ya se acabaron los desayunos, right? So, <laughs> okay, so let me ask, who was over here? Floor, would you help us, please, with, uh, with Tokyo? What time is it? Uh, solo escuché 9, pero no sé si es yeah. yeah. 9 a.m., yes, that's correct. Yeah. It's 9 a.m. And what about in Sao Paulo? It's um, 9 in the evening. It's 9 in the evening, correct. 9 p.m. Yes, that's true. That's true. So in, in Bangkok is, uh, let's see, 7, right? 7 in London is, is it 9 over here? Let's see. It's 1. Okay. In the Tokyo is nine. And in Sao Paulo is, but this is 9 a.m. and the other one is 9 p.m. So that's the main difference over there. Is that correct? Yes, it is right. Okay, thank you. So let's keep moving over here. That was, let's say like our warm up. So yesterday I, I told you, so today, this is what this class, uh, you know, will be mainly about. De esto vamos a hablar en esta clase más que todo. Ok. So, uh, I think I sent this image to you through the chat. Creo que les mandé esta imagen ayer. If somebody can check it out and just uh, let me know, please. I think yes. Yes, it is. I sent it around 10 uh, p.m. last night. And I also sent this one, you know, a second image, which is this one. Ok. So, uh, but the first one that we're gonna be looking at into would be this, all right. So be patient, this is just theory. So you don't really have to remember this, okay? So, um, and just be patient, please. All right, so one second over here. Vale, vamos a comenzar de izquierda a derecha, from the left to the, to the right over there. Okay, from the most specific uh, preposition of time, you know, to the more, I would say to the easiest one. 
All right. So if you just talk about, uh, let's say, time, you say at, okay? You say, uh, what time do you wake up every day? And then you say, I wake up at five, okay? What time do you, uh, let's see, uh, have a snack? ¿Verdad? Un, un bocadillo. What time do you eat a snack at 10.30 a.m.? Or what time do you wake up on Sundays? ¿A qué hora se levanta los, los domingos? At 10.30, ¿verdad? Si es que se levanta. <laughs> All right. So, and so specific time. Esto ya lo sabemos. You know this already. It's at. Utilizamos, ¿verdad? Luego para frases específicas. You know, for specific phrases like at noon, que es a mediodía. At midnight, que es a medianoche. Eh, at dinner time, que es a la hora de cena. At bed time, you know, a la hora de irse a dormir. As you can see, for, for specific times, ¿verdad? La hora del almuerzo, la hora de la cena, medianoche, midnight, dinner time, bed time, etc. Okay? Eh, I think this is, like we said in Spanish, ¿verdad? Nuestro as bajo la mango, manga o lo más confiable, ¿verdad? Okay. Uh, so, at. At. And I think you, you don't have any problems with this. Obviously, there are some exceptions to the rule, ¿verdad? Hay unas excepciones por ahí. But now, let's take a look at the ones that will give you a headache. Y la forma en que yo los diferencio, or the way I distinguish this. Let me just get, first of all, the month with this one, and then I will go with the days, all right? Y esto quizás sí se lo puede memorizar, so you can memorize this the following way. If you talk about months, Meses, usted va a decir in. Ok, in. ¿Cuándo es el último mes para pagar la renta here en El Salvador? When is the last month to pay the rent? I mean, the taxes here en El Salvador is in. Can somebody tell me? Uh, uh -huh. Uh -huh. El último mes para declarar la renta en El Salvador. April, oh, April. It's, April. It's, it's on April, correct. Thank you, Caesar. April. So, learn or remember something that you can relate, you know, the preposition with. Lo que les digo es que relacionen un mes con la preposición, ¿verdad? Algo, ¿verdad? Algo en contexto para que no se nos olvide. Okay? For example, uh, your uh, month for your birthday, right? So, for example, in my case, I was born in May, ¿verdad? Nací en mayo. So, remember that. You say in May. If you only say the month, si solo dice el mes, va a decir in, in January, in February, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. ¿Cuándo le dan el aguinaldo? So, when uh, do you get the, the yearly bonus? Yes? Uh-huh. Can somebody tell me? In December. Of course, right? Todos así, la gran, la gran sonrisa, ¿verdad? Eh, <laughs> pero lo entregamos. <laughs> that's what happens, right? We just give it back. <laughs> but that's okay. Solo pasa. Yes, at least we just, at, at least we have it, you know, for some time. Entonces, para que usted se aprenda esto y que no sea tan difícil, aprendase cosas en contexto que usted lo puede relacionar. So, think, you know, put it in practice just like this, like in context. All right, so now let, let's talk about days, days, okay, days. Um, let's think about this, all right? Let's think about this. Like, what can you say about, yeah, about days? You can say this. For example, I think that most people, la mayoría de la gente, uh, wake up uh, late on Sundays. Casi todos nos levantamos un poquito más tardecito, uh, we, I can say that. There are some exceptions to the rule, right? But in my case, that's, that's, that's what happens. Over so I wake up, uh, let's say at 7.30 or at 8 on Sundays, okay? Si habla de un día de la semana, ¿verdad? It's, if it's, it doesn't really matter if it's weekdays or weekends, you say on, okay? On, all right. Entonces creo que ya, ya tenemos, ya diferenciamos, ¿verdad? So we have the three main usages, ya tenemos los tres usos más, más uh, frecuentes 
de las preposiciones at, in, and on. ¿Ok? Pero eso es como lo, lo más básico. You know, it's the most basic thing that you should know. Whether. Sometimes we get confused. Now, let's talk about days. If you, you know, write a complete date. Let me just go back over here. Si usted dice una fecha completa, o oh, you mention the month and the specific day, all right? You have to use on, ¿ok? Apréndase eso. Ya sea que usted mencione solamente on February 1st, when is, uh, uh, when is Valentine's Day, you say, is, it's on February the 14th, ¿ok? When is Mother's Day? It's uh, in El Salvador. It's on May the 10th or May 10th. Okay. Si lo dice eh, completo o el año, it doesn't really matter. Pero si usted me menciona el, el mes y el día, you have to say on. All right. You have to say on if you mention the month and the day over there. Okay. All right. Creo que no hay confusión porque eh, si va el día y también está la fecha, en todo caso usted ocupa on. All right? On. Okay. And there we go. Like, for example, um, if I ask you, when is the Holy Week for this year? The holiday, Semana Santa. When is the Holy Week this year? In what date? Um, or, or when does it restore? When does it restore? Yo lo marqué en el calendario. I, I marked it down in the calendar already. <laughs> on April. Yeah, around April, right? Yes, correct. But uh, the if, first week. Yes, the first week. But if you give uh, me a, a, a date, Raúl, to use on. Okay, let me see. Mm. I have a calendar over here. You know, I have a calendar. Let's see. Yes. This, is um by a palm, palm Sunday, you know, Palm yes. Sunday, Domingo de, 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 de Ramos. When is that? Uh, it's Sunday, yeah, of course, it's a Sunday, it's Sunday, uh, um, 28 March, yeah, that's correct, yes, that's correct. Um, okay. until, yes, until April, uh, April. Uh, Saturday, April 3. April the 3rd, right? Yes. Are you sure? See? Yeah, that's correct. Yeah, that's correct. Yeah, that's right. Thank you. All right. So if you think Perfect. about the days, days of the week and dates, you have to use on. All right. On over there. That's it. All right. That's it. You said this, eh? Que fácil es este volado, eh? And that's how you say. It. But sometimes, Okay. This is tricky, but it's a little capcious. All right, now, if you talk about the years, the years you got to use in, all right? In, okay, in, over there. Okay. Si se fija para periodos como más largos, utiliza in, all right, for long periods. Esa es otra clave para aprenderse. ¿verdad? If you think of the year, 12 months, okay? If you think of a month, 30, 30 uh, uh, days, right? ¿Verdad? Para periodos más, más extensos. Se ocupa el in. For months and for years. Eh, let me think about this. Yes. This coming, let's see, Saturday. At the, yeah, it's tomorrow, actually. Yes, it's tomorrow. February the 13th, right? What happened? What happened? 20 years ago here in El Salvador on February the 13th, 20 years ago. Earthquake. Yes, the second earthquake, right? On the same year. Yes, yes correct. Seven grades. Yes, that's true. Creo que fue en la por allá por Usulután, San Agustín, por esa zona, pegó más fuerte. I remember. San Vicente. San Vicente, I remember. Yes, I remember. Entonces, if you think about years, like something like that, you say in, okay? In. Now, if you think of uh, seasons, ¿verdad? Las estaciones del año, usted dice in, ¿verdad? Porque son periodos más extensos. Like in the United States, you have uh, 
in the summer, in the winter, in the in the fall, okay, and in the spring or in spring, okay, for long periods, son periodos más largos. Yo creo que esa es la clave. That's the key, okay. That's the key about this. And obviously, if you say, uh, um, let's see, if you talk about centuries, centuries, right? I can say uh, TVs were invented in the 20th century. Los televisores fueron inventados en el siglo XX, all right? In the 20th century, something like that. Uh, the uh, hum humankind uh, went to space or to the moon in the 20th century, in 1969, right? 1969, you can say that, ¿verdad? Entonces, apréndaselo en contexto. And that's the best thing that you can do. It, write your birthday, ¿verdad? My birthday is on, if they say on, ¿verdad? Y comienza con el mes, with the month, with the day, and with the year. Así como les pongo yo uh, el, the word of the day, ¿verdad? Decimos el month, the day, and then the year. Pero ahorita eso no es el énfasis. El énfasis es que tiene que ir on. ¿Ok? And that's the way it is. If, if, I, if I can ask you, when Christopher Columbus, Cristóbal Colón, discover, discover America. Discover America. Uh -huh. Yes, Raúl. 14. Uh, 1492. That's correct. On October the 10th. Uh, that's in why October 12th. 12th. Día de la raza, right? That's why. And he say second place. Yes. All right. Thank you. So remember about that, right? Like periods in humanity, like in the history of humanity. So, pero no, no, no nos pongamos filosófico, ¿verdad? So do not become philosophical. So we're here. <laughs> All right. So um, that's basically it. That's basically it, ¿verdad? Ya repasamos la regla de esto. So we just went over the rules in here. But there is more. If you are the type of people who learn, you know, with visual, uh, let's see, uh, examples. Si usted aprende, ¿verdad? Visualmente, let's see, the next slide is for you. La siguiente eh, slide is for you, ¿verdad? Diapositiva. But first of all, let's take a look at this. In context or, you know, in some sentences. Uh, let me ask a feminine voice to help us read this. Okay, so let me just look. I think Claudia has been uh, since early in here. So Claudia, would you help us uh, please to read examples one through six, from one to six over here, these examples. I have a meeting at uh, 9 a.m. Okay, thank you. Yes, the store closed at meaning, meaning. Oh, no sé. Midnight. Midnight. Mm -hmm. uh, we celebrate Christmas in December. In December, yes. Thank you. There were two air, ese no sé. uh, earthquakes or quakes. Earthquakes. Earthquakes in. ¿Qué sería? 2001. 2001. Two, uh, 2001. No sé. That's okay. Do you work? Do you work on Saturday? Yeah, see, and Caesar will say yes, right? <laughs> okay. My birthday, my birthday is on November uh, the twentieth. Twenty. Yeah, November twentieth over there, right? Esos son oraciones al azar, verdad? No crean, verdad? Que aquí es, this is not personal, right? <laughs> okay. All right. So here we go. Now, if you think. You know, this is, let's see, a, a, you know, the use of this, it's el uso. But if you think of the rule, like the formula, uh, I want you to relate, let's see, the sentence to, to, to one of these. Are you talking about, let's see, a specific dates, all right? Or are you talking about, let's say, month or a precise time or a specific time? So in this case, a... Uh, the mic is open, el micrófono está abierto para que alguien me diga, vaya, number one is a specific time. O number two, it's a specific time or whatever. Number three is this and this, ¿verdad? Entonces, somebody please. A volunteer please over here. 
que me diga, vaya, se utiliza at en, el, en la primera oración because it's, uh, it's a month, por ejemplo, ¿verdad? On the second one, we use in because it's a year and, and, and so on, right? Entonces, si alguien para, para, para conceptualizar, you know, to, to contextualize this, and so we can move on the next page. Si alguien me dice, okay, vaya, in Spanish or English, that's okay. Si alguien se anima. Que me diga, so number one, it's uh, time, right? So it's a specific. Number two is, and then you say, yes? Yeah, okay, Ro Rocío, thank you. Right. Okay, in the first and the second sentence, the time is precious. Yes. But uh, use a, a expression at. Yes. And number three and number four, uh, the time is a, on the sentence is a long period. Right. And um, five and six, uh, eh, hace referencia a, a días, días o fechas. Correct, correct. Thank you, thank you. Um, yes, that's correct. And as you see, uh, I try to organize this two examples, you know, for each uh, time expression. Les puse dos ejemplos de cada uno. Okay? So in that way, you relate it over there. Eh, esto sí lo hice a propósito, ¿verdad? You see, at 9 a.m., at midnight. In December, okay, this is a month. In 2001, uh, on Saturdays and on November 20th. Okay? So remember that. Terremoto, usted puede decir earthquake o puede decir quake. Como, como el, 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 lo que es el cereal, ¿verdad? Más o menos. <laughs> Something like that. Like this here. Teacher, es yeah. una pregunta. Yeah, that's true, right? <laughs> está, está, está compartiendo pantalla. The Pilgrims. Ah, perdón. Eh, al parecer, sí, me parece que sí estoy compartiendo. Yes, right? Um, yes. A mí no me parece. Um, let's see. Vamos a ver. Mr. Balta, ¿verdad? Usted me está preguntando. ¿verdad? Sí, teacher. Eh, si gusta, no sé, vuelva, sálgase. You know, get out of the uh, the meeting and then get ah, back. Okay. Or refresh ah, okay. su, su internet, but your internet, whatever. But let's see. I'm going okay. uh, okay. to so stop. Is... Let me stop sharing the screen. And I'm going to share it back uh, over here. Okay. Let's continue over here. Now, if you're a visual learner, this image is for you. Si es usted un, un, un alguien que aprende eh, visualmente, if you're a visual learner, Um, this is for you. Hours, you say at, at 5 p.m., 12 o'clock, 7 a.m. Y quiero que también usted me acompañe with your microphone off, diciendo, verdad, las frases, verdad? The same way I'm doing this. Like, hours, we show at 5 p.m., at 12 o'clock, at 7 a.m. Everybody, please, with your microphone off, let's just try to do this practice, verdad? Hagamos esa práctica, all right? So here we go. Uh, so hours uh, at 5 p.m. at 12 o'clock at 7 a.m. Days on Friday on my birthday on May 7, 1964. Okay. For example, on my birthday, you can say uh, uh, I eat cake or I go out with my family on my birthday. ¿verdad? Yo salgo como fuera en mi cumpleaños on my birthday. Okay. In, you say in two weeks, in July, in May, in 1970, in 1981, in the 80s, right? Yes, in the 80s, right? <laughs> nice, like a program. Un programa en la radio se llama Forever 80s, right? That's a great program, by the way. And uh, in the 1800s, right? In the 1800s, in los 1800s, in the 1900s, in the 1600s, etc., etc. So that's what you say. On the left, tenemos a la izquierda uh, uh, in, decimos weeks, right? And then uh, month, we say in, right? Years, we say in, decades, decades, we say in, and then centuries, we say in. Entonces, long periods over here, aunque la semana no es tan larga, but sometimes you feel it that it's very long, right? La semana se siente larga, you know? You feel it long, right? A long week or whatever. 
Entonces, lo que les digo es lo siguiente. If you are the type of student who learns, you know, by images, this is for you, right? Si usted aprende visualmente. By the way, this image is in the WhatsApp already. Esta, esta imagen se las compartí ayer, around 10 p.m. Okay, so you have it there. Um, so let's continue. Now, is it time for you to practice? Is it time for you to practice? This is, okay, this uh, exercise will be uh, done in the breaker rooms. So right now I'll be sending you into the breaker rooms and just pay attention to the instruction. Pongamos atención a la indicación. Dice, write the preposition of time for the following. If a preposition is in use, put an X. En este caso, como no es escrito, it's not a writing activity. Uh, for example, if, if on this one, on this one, let's say on number eight, no va ni in, ni on, ni at, solamente dice last summer, okay? And then let's say that I'm practicing with Miss Pimentel, I'm practicing with her and ella va de almost, okay, number one. Uh, you say on Monday, number two, on yesterday, in yesterday, you don't say that, right? Do you leave it in uh, blank? Okay. Si, si uh, no va, yes. In, uh, on, on yesterday. Yes, pero eh, lo, que, lo, lo, lo que vamos a aprender de este ejercicio, okay, las excepciones a la regla. That's what we're going to learn. Okay. 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 And it's okay. Usted le puede poner el on, el in, el at, al, como usted piense que es. But then I will give you the feedback, ¿verdad? These are the exceptions of the rule. Y esto usted va a decir, okay, no va ni in ni nada de eso. All right? So, and that's the point over there. Okay. okay. For example, I can tell you, uh, I posted the images of the, of the time expressions yesterday. No tengo que utilizar el in, ni el on, ni el at. All right, so th this is important, okay? Porque no, no quiero que usted se lleve la idea de que for long periods, verdad, como yesterday, aunque fue ayer, y puede ser un día de la semana, va a ir el on. So we gotta be careful over here. So this is my point. Ese es mi punto, verdad, en este momento. So this exercise is going to make you think. I'll be sending this in a second, but first of all, lo voy a poner in las uh, breaker rooms. All right. Nice. Um, let's see. Here we go. All right. Rooms are open. Go ahead, please enjoy them. And drive safe, Mr. Oscar. Maneje con cuidado, Oscar. <laughs> All right. So go ahead, please. I'll be sending this image you know, right away. So uh, let me just one second. All right, so let's join the rooms, please. Uh, if you can, uh, Douglas and uh, Nelson and Catherine. Si no, ya vemos cómo hacemos. Okay, so Caesar and Salon. Okay, so Cesar va con Douglas, con usted Douglas y con usted Catherine. Eh, pero si no pueden conectarse, no hay problema. Yo mando a Douglas con alguien más. Okay. And I think that's what I'm going to do, right? Okay. 
Sería in, in, in the morning. Sí. Three o'clock sería in the morning. At three o'clock. At, at the three o'clock. Mm -hmm. At the three o'clock, okay. Eh, next year eh, sería... Eh, es es in, long. no. Ah, on, on. Uh -huh. oh, a, a long times, uh, a long times podría ser in, in the next year, on the, in the next year, in the next, in, in, in next in year. Next. Correct. Mm -hmm. Y sería at midnight, ¿verdad? At, mid, at midnight. midnight. At midnight. Uh, at midnight, sí. Okay. Per, Permítame que estoy escribiendo, porque si no, no se me queda. Okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> Sería yeah. eh, our number uh, seven anniversary. Mm -hmm. Anniversary. Sería anniversary. Anniversary. At or or at or an anniversary. On. 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 Because what? because on. it's a date. It's a date. Uh, yes, it's yes. a date. Uh -huh. yes, yes, it's a yes. date, right? Yes. A, uh -huh. okay. You have to remember your anniversary. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> y sería um, Oh, no. Last summer, uh, it's uh, uh, in blank, right? In blank. Mm -hmm. Está en blanco. Yeah. So you, you, o sea, okay. unless, al menos que usted le agregue in the last summer, ¿verdad? Pero ahí, that's something else. In the last oh, summer. Okay. Or you just in can say, I, I, exception. I always visit my, no, I visited my parents last summer. Así nomás. El, el verano. Entonces, no, ok, entonces solo, solo se queda la, la uh -huh. okay. Es otra excepción. Yes, uh -huh. it's an exception, yes. correct. Ok. Uh, number nine, in the summer. Yes, in summer. Oh, ah, in summer. Uh -huh. uh, summer. Uh, number ¿Cómo ten. quedaría summer? In summer. In, in summer. summer. In, in summer. Uh -huh. mm. In March, es yes. on March o oh, in March. Um, um, um. El periodo es largo, um, así que um. tiene que ser in March, of course. Um. Okay. Y si eh, se pone on. No, no, no. Vaya, hagamos algo. Eh, let's do something, vamos a ver. I, I don't know, maybe you, you're not going to be able to see this, pero ocupemos esto. The triangle. Ah, okay. Ah, okay. Let's use the triangle. That's okay. okay. This is not a memory okay. test. Let's use this triangle. Ah, okay. Okay. All right. I'll see you around. Okay. March, March. Okay. Vaya, entonces la sexta. La sexta is my night. My night. So it's at. ¿Qué es eso? Hello, hello. Hola. Hello. Let's, let's do something over here. Hagamos algo. Uh, utilicemos esa visual aid, ¿verdad? Esa ayuda visual en tu teléfono. Mm -hmm. You can have it in your cell phone. Y luego, uh, you, you can also have this. All right? It's up to you. Podemos sí. revisar, ¿verdad? De tu, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. ¿verdad? Sí, so eso you, estamos haciendo, profe. <laughs> so you don't get confused, ¿verdad? Que no se confunda, ¿verdad? Ah, sí. That's okay. All right? Go ahead, please. Gracias. Okay, <clears throat> my night. Sería at. Y la siete. Sería at, ¿verdad? La, la seis sería at. ¿Sí? Six. Yes, at midnight. Midnight, mm -hmm. yes. ¿Qué uh, significa eso? Medianoche. Medianoche. Ah. Uh, yes, David. Uh, oh, ¿qué significa en español? Our, esta. Our, nuestro. Nuestro, nuestro aniversario. Nuestra. Nuestro aniversario. Nuestro o nuestra. Nuestro aniversario. Creo, creo que eso sí no lleva. At all. No, it, it has, it has. Sí oh. tiene, it has. Sí tiene, ok. Sí tiene, yes. Because oh, it, yeah. it's, a, In. it's a date. Es una, es una fecha. It's a date. Es una fecha, cabal. Yeah. Ajá. En, en, entonces tendría que ser on. Correct. Nice. Mm -hmm. You got it, you got it. Yes, correct. No se le olvide la, la, los aniversarios, ¿verdad? Don't forget about anniversaries. <laughs> Para no tener problemas. Exactly. No <laughs> okay. Last, Last summer. summer. Sería in. 
Yeah, but in that case, you, you can leave it in blank. It's an exception, porque yo puedo decir, eh, last year, el año pasado, I visited, visité my parents, mis papás, last, last summer, I can say, el, el mm -hmm. verano pasado. No, no digo in el verano, no, no digo en el verano, no. Puedo mm -hmm. decir solamente in the last summer, ¿verdad? En el, en el, en el, en el, en el verano pasado. Ah, okay. ok, so in this one you can leave it in blank. Why? Porque la número 9 si sí lo puede ocupar. La preposition. You can use a preposition over there. Mm -hmm. Ok, porque no hay una palabra que antecede. So there's not a word before. Mm -hmm. Entonces esa es como la clave. Si tiene una palabra que le antecede o, o, o que me dé. Ajá, que tiene que detenerse a ver si aplica o no aplica. Por ejemplo, en o, o, our anniversary si sí aplica porque hace referencia a una fecha. Ok. Right. So, es un poco tricky, ¿verdad? Así como capcioso. Mm -hmm. Right. Ok. okay summer. In summer. This one. March summer. sería. In. Correct. In. Correct. In. Vaya. Le voy a dar una clave, ¿verdad? Para que se lo aprendan. Y esto, obviamente, usted se lo va a aprender con el tiempo. Mm -hmm. Ok, desde la semana, ok, si usted dice uh, week, a partir de siete días eh, ya va a ocupar in, ok, mm -hmm. ok, in the week you can say in, in, in January or in March, in 2021, in the, the 21st century, o sea, usted comienza con los, con los días, de, con, lo, con las semanas, meses, años y de ahí usted ya so think about that mm -hmm. porque el que entra en el in va a ser siempre el semanas meses años semanas meses años ok pero ya fechas específicas de un día verdad o algo un, un acontecimiento este sí. con, con, con día, y, día y mes una fecha on mm -hmm. y, el, el, y el, el día solito es on verdad y cuál es la lógica porque la fecha contiene el día y contiene, ¿verdad? El, el, bueno, el, la fecha, ¿verdad? En realidad, ¿verdad? Valga uh -huh. la redundancia. Ok. El mes, ¿verdad? El mes y el día es una fecha. Ok. Uh -huh. So that's why we gotta be careful with her. All right. Okay. Continue, please. Ok. Ok. All right. So. Um, see you around. Moon. Noon. Ajá. ¿Qué es? Para un tiempo específico, at. Uh -huh. Ok. At, at. noon, and at midnight, que son como los opuestos, you know, the opposites, ocupa el at. At midnight es medianoche, 12 de la medianoche. En at noon, 12 pm. At. Uh, okay. so, at. Así, me, así me lo aprendí yo, vea. <ríe> ok. So, um, see you around. Una, es un periodo largo. In the, so, ¿sí? in the summer. In the last summer. At the last summer. Yeah. Eso es bueno. Eh, March sería on, ¿verdad? Ay, se me fue. No tengo la imagen. Summer. Va, esto es summer. Last, no sé si hay una diferencia. Last summer. Last summer in, y summer. Y summer. Yo creería que es... All right, so may I, may I interrupt you? May I jump him over here? Yes? Yes. Okay, thank you. Uh, in this case, last summer, you don't, you don't use anything because I can tell you last... Uh, I'm sorry, I can tell you. I visited my parents last summer. That's it. Yeah, you can... I went to Mexico last vacation. So... You don't say anything. You don't say on or in or anything. So it's not necessary. Okay? Mm -hmm. But you can say it's it's a very hot in, in summer. Mm -hmm. And it's it's a very cold in winter. Okay, nieve, it is notes in winter. All right? 
la cuestión está que nosotros utilizamos demasiado el THE, el L, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. de, in the summer decimos, in the morning. Eso sí, es, eso sí, sí, así tiene que ser. It has to be like that. All right? Ok. La, so, what about number two, Eduardo? Yesterday. Think of I an can. example. Think of an example. I, I, I have the... Uh, uh, I went to the movies yesterday. I, yeah, I don't exactly. use it. Any, exactly. anything. Yeah, I don't have yeah, to use so, it. Yeah, so exactly. You don't use anything over there. So you don't use in, on, or at. That's it. If you have any doubts, or you know, which prepositional time, you know, uh, can be used in a specific example. So try to think of the uh, phrase in a sentence. All right. Pensemos in la frase en, un, en una, una oración. And that's the best way you can do it. Okay? Nice. Okay. okay. Bye. All right. So, la summer, summer, March. Vaya, ¿cuál sería March? Bueno, sí podría ser onde. Como no, que para dice día. para días y para fecha. Pero, no. Fecha es por días. A la vez. All right, so can I help you? En... May I bueno, help ya, you? Ya marcamos las X. Nice, that's a great Don, technique. That's a donde, great technique. Donde creemos que vamos. <laughs> Pero estamos repasando donde irían los at, it, no, los at, in y los on. Ok. Entonces, eh... En la número 10, creo que sí tiene razón Anayansi, si debería ser on March. On number 10. Yes. Are you sure? No, look at this. Pero no lleva día, pero es que no lleva día, solo es el mes. No, look, at, look at my screen, Raúl. Look at my screen, pues. Mire, mire mi pantalla, pero aquí, en la cámara. Ah, ajá. Es lo que, lo que estaba viendo, de que eh, exactly, como, no, como no lleva día, eh, no podría ser on. Solo Sainte es el mes. Solo, solo, solo in. Correct. In. Ajá. Tiene que ser fecha, es decir, mes y día para que vaya el on. on. Okay. Mm. Si no, y... solamente dice eh, eh, in, right? Christmas is in December, right? Mm -hmm. My birthday is in, Dece is in December, for example. Mm. Okay. Luego tenemos eh, en number, number 11, at, at noon. Yes, at noon. Esa eh, es parte del día, ¿verdad? You can say, uh, 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 donde hace algo, where you do something, like bedtime, dinner time, uh, at noon, at midnight, lunch. at night, mm -hmm. at lunch. But, exactly. Uh, en number 12 sería in. Uh -huh. Excuse me? In. Eh, 12, it's a date. No, but it, it's a date. Lo que pasa es que está escrito de una forma oh. bien formal. Oh. Por ejemplo, yo le puedo decir Christmas is celebrated on the 25th of December. Nuestra independencia, El Salvador's independence is on the September. 15th of September. 15, um, o oh, la forma okay. contractada on September, September 15th. Entonces sería on Christmas. Uh, perdón, oh, la 12. Ah, la 12. Ah, ok. Uh, Para segura. mí es y no, yo pensaba que era in. <laughs> Ah, no, no, yo le estaba haciendo referencia a, 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 al, 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 al número, al, al anterior. Uh, 14, ah, yes, no, 14. Eh, no, no, nosotros, bueno, el número 12, in, All right. in Christmas. Vamos a ver, ¿qué dice César? Sí, en, perdón, en el caso de la 12. Ajá. Debería ser on, porque es un día específico. Christmas. Sí, Navidad. Vaya, y si ocupamos, y si ocupamos nosotros eh, 
Semana Santa, que son varios días. It's a holiday. Ajá. Ahí. Are you sure? No, but in this case it's on Christmas. You say on Christmas. On Christmas. On Christmas. That's what you say. It's on Christmas. ¿Verdad? It's on Christmas. ¿Verdad? Es algo dado, ¿verdad? Es algo, una fecha específica. So on Christmas. Yeah. So that, that's why. Right? And number 15, number 14, on. Three, on. And number 15, X. X. What is at? And sixteen at seventeen at uh, eighteen um, in the moment. Yeah, in the moment, correct, correct. It's a in the exception. Pero uh, bien es in the moment. It's in the moment, yes, it's in the moment. Okay. Uh, ahora, uh, 1984 is on. No. Uh, no, déjeme ver. In. In, 1984 Vaya. is in. I will share with you the key of this, la clave. Desde semanas, es decir, weeks, months, and years, years. decades, centuries, whatever you want to use, you say in. Okay, long periods, desde, los, desde la semana, ¿verdad? Okay, y usted dice in, in the last week, dice eso, que casi no se ocupa mucho. Pero en el mes, sí, in April, in January, in, in February, etc. Y luego va el año, in, in, uh, in 1994, tenemos acá, in 2001, eso sí. Pero, pero el... El día, the day, you have to say on. Eso sí tiene que estar claro, ¿verdad? On Monday, dice usted. Okay. Cuando, cuando, no sé, uh, lavo el carro, when I watch the, uh, the, the car, on Sunday, ¿verdad? When I go to church, never, right? On Sunday. <laughs> okay. So, just to give you some examples, right? Okay. In, in 20, in the weekend. Yes, sir. Okay. But, uh, no, let's see. Uh, in the weekend, over the weekend. Perdón, ¿cuál están, ¿en cuál están ahorita? No, but in this case, eh, eh, vaya, aquí, aquí se hace referencia a, a la semana o a más de dos días. En este caso tiene que ser on the weekend. On. Sí, okay. acuérdese. La, la clave es que diga week. Ahí, eso es todo. On. On okay. the week. On the, the week. weekend. Yes, on the week. On. On. All right. Okay. In 21 at. The evening. Yeah, at... in the evening, yes. Ah, in the evening. In the evening, ¿verdad? Sí. Decimos in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening, y decimos at mm. night. At okay. night. Ese, esa es la regla, la excepción a la regla, ¿verdad? At oh, night. Okay. At night. All right? At night. Créame, okay. esto se nos va a olvidar porque así pasa, pero usted va a recurrir a sus notas y va a decir, no, aquí, no como era. Ok, y ya va a empezar. All right? Every day. X. X. Nothing. Every, every day, you, you don't say anything. You say, uh, I take a shower every day. Mm, right? Like Supposedly, right? <laughs> Supuestamente. <laughs> Two, twice. <laughs> twice, right? <laughs> okay. So let me give you one more minute and then we'll come back to the main station. All right? Okay. Okay. Here we go. Uh, 23. All right, uh, thanks for still being here. Let me share with you the exceptions to the rule, all right? 
So allow me just one second, come over here. Okay. And I'll be sharing the screen with you, right? So you don't uh, get a headache, okay? So you don't get a headache over here. By uh, just one second. And uh, permítame que aquí no me quiero meter en problemas. All right. Here we go. So I'm going to I'm going to share with you the answers uh, of this exercise. There were 30 phrases, ¿verdad? Habían 30 frases. Entonces, vamos a ver si le pegó al jackpot, ¿verdad? Le pegó al gordo. <laughs> okay. So that's the idea. So that's me. Let me share the screen over here. And here we go. All right. And on that cell phone, all right, on the cell phone, I'll check the... Uh, the phrases over there. You check it out over there. Vamos, vamos a revisar las frases on my cell phone and see, you know, what, what happens in there. Okay. Here we go. Si usted me permite, lo voy a decir rapidito para ver si tiene sentido. So you say on Monday, number two, you don't say anything, ¿verdad? Decimos, I uh, took a bus, abordé un bus yesterday. No decimos in ni nada. Okay. Number three, it's in the morning. Number four, um, we say at three o'clock. Number five, it's an X. Number six is at midnight. Number seven is on our anniversary, ¿verdad? La siete is anniversary porque hace alusión a una fecha. Maybe it's important for you or might not be important, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, what, what, what's going to happen on... on on Valentine's Day, ¿verdad? Algunos puede ser importante, otros solo, it's something commercial, right? Okay. We have uh, eight, también, ¿verdad? Una X, because you can say, I always visit my parents. No, you can say, I visited my parents last summer, el último verano, right? But if I tell you, uh, it's always hot in summer, ¿verdad? Siempre es caliente en, en el verano. Okay, in. La clave para utilizar in es, comenzamos desde semanas o fin de semanas. You say, uh, in, 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 in the week, all right? Puede decir usted, yo abordo el bus en la semana. So, uh, I take the bus in the week, right? Pero hay unas excepciones por ahí que eso la voy a compartir. So, in the number 10 is in March, okay? Meses, años, eh, décadas, lo que sea. So, months, years, and decades, you say in, all right? Acuérdese de su año de nacimiento, all right? So, which, el cual no va a compartir, ¿verdad? <laughs> you're, gonna, you're not going to share it with us. So, 11, noon. Decimos in the morning, at noon, in the evening, and at night, and at midnight. Aprendámonos, ¿verdad? Los, los, los partes del día, ¿verdad? In the morning, at noon, in the evening, in the afternoon, um, and at night. Okay? And then we continue with 12. Es, aquí pueden ser dos opciones. Dice, on Christmas, ¿verdad? O at Christmas. Pero puede te decir on Christmas. ¿Ok? Cuando escucha cumbias, on Christmas. <laughs> when do you listen to cumbias, right? On Christmas. And it's it, right? So, century, obviamente, si es alusión a century, which is 13, all right? Tiene que ser in, ¿verdad? On the 12th century. No se confunda porque en, en la número 12 dice como que fuera fecha, pero está haciendo alusión al siglo XII, o sea, que el año 1100, ¿verdad? Entonces, 12th century, you know, the 12th century. Pero la número eh, 14 es on the 12th of April, porque hace alusión a una fecha. ¿Cuándo es la, la independencia de Salvador? When is El Salvador's independence? Uh, Eduardo, if I may ask you, sir, when is the independence, sir? The so-called independence. <laughs> Can you tell me? Uh, <laughs> on <laughs> September, <laughs> September 15th. <laughs> yeah, you can say it's on September 15th. 
And that is, let's see, the regular way to say, la forma regular, pero ya forma así, bien, bien, officially speaking, oficialmente dice, on the 15th of September, ¿verdad? That's how you say. By the way, this year we're turning 200 years, you know, of the independence, 200 años, right? <laughs> Pequeño comercial. Then you say tomorrow, X, you know, X. You don't say that. So I see you tomorrow. We don't say I see you in tomorrow. No, you don't say that. Una hora at 11, eh, at night, in the moment, in 1994, on the weekend, ¿verdad? On the weekend, on the weekend. Puede decir también at the weekend, but people will say in the weekend, ¿verdad? Como el cantante, right? Okay, like the singer, 21. In the evening, every day, you don't say anything over there. You say, I go to work every day, even though I don't like it. ¿Verdad? Voy a trabajar aunque no quiera. <laughs> so you say that, right? Sometimes. Okay. Every day it's empty, ¿verdad? Solo. Vacío. New Year's Eve on. On New Year's Eve es December 31st. Therefore, it's a date. Si hace alusión a una fecha es on, ¿verdad? On New Year's Eve, ¿verdad? Okay. September. It's a month. Y desde... Uh, Semanas, meses y años, you say in, right? In, right? So, in September. Next year, porque puse el next, you leave it empty, ¿verdad? So, you can say next year, I will uh, buy a house. Buy es entre comillas, ¿verdad? Porque you're going to get a loan, te vas a sacar un préstamo, right? So, uh, next year. Queda solo. Tuesday night, Tuesday night. No importa if it's in the morning or if it's in the evening, etc. You say on, ¿verdad? On Tuesday night, on Friday night, on Saturday night, right? Acuérdense de las canciones, ¿verdad? Eh, last month, last month, igual que, igual que last summer, you don't use anything, no, no utilizamos nada, ¿verdad? Last month, ¿ok? Eh, ¿Cuándo sacó la licencia? When did you get the license driver? And then you say last month. No, usted no dice in last month or, or on last month. No, 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 you don't say that. Eh, number 28, si usted tiene verdad el, el, la lista, if you have the list, is Don. Don como Don, Don Baltasar, Don Raúl, Don Eduardo, right, etc. Eh, así se dice, pero es madrugada. Madrugada, ¿verdad? Como pasa a veces en la asamblea, ¿verdad? Madrugón, ¿verdad? <laughs> yeah. I'm not talking politics over here, but, but that happened. Don, ¿verdad? Vamos a perdernos esa palabra, ¿verdad? Don. Después la voy a reforzar después. Right? Sorry. Perdón de mi letra de tercer grado. Right? Don. This one. ¿Verdad? Don. Como un don, ¿verdad? Como un gif. Así se pronuncia. Don. Don. Right? Don. Significa madrugada. ¿Ok? Don. O la salida del sol, ¿verdad? Mucha gente lo dice, ¿verdad? Eh, cuando ya se acerca el sol, so, autumn, autumn, eh, es 29, es autumn, en este caso dice usted in, ¿por qué? Porque el autumn es una season, aprendámonos, ¿verdad? Aquí en el sábado solo tenemos la época lluviosa y época seca, right? So we say in the winter and in summer, right? Or in winter, in summer. But in the United States, they have... Uh, in summer, in winter, in autumn, autumn es otoño, ¿verdad? Pero es la palabra como formal, lo puede decir como fall, como ca caerse, ¿verdad? F-A-L-L, F-A-L-L, -L, right? It's autumn. Estoy refiriendo a la 29, autumn, right? And then, 30 is October 26. If it's a date, it's on. Nice, Claudia. I was able to see the, the movement of your, of your mouth. Puede ver que dijo on, Claudia, which is great. <laughs> nice, thank you. Vaya. All right. But this is just, let's say, uh, in, in this video game is level one. This is just level one. Let's go to level two, please. Vámonos al nivel dos de esto, ¿verdad? De las, de las prepositions. It's the same thing, but there's another exercise which I think is going to be easier for you to do so. Now, let's use this in context. All right. And um, creo que no está de más practicar esto because I think uh, you're going to need uh, this uh, always, right? So that's 
that's what I believe in. Okay, bye. All right, so take a look at this screen. I'll be sending you into the breaker rooms. Lo voy a mandar a los breaker rooms, obviamente, right? So obviously, so you can practice this. Now use the prepositions in context. If it was difficult for you, you know, to, in the list, to think about the prepositions, si era difícil para usted, en una lista, verdad, verdad, fuera de contexto, this is going to be better for you. Esto va a ser mejor para usted, okay? So, and basically it's the same thing. ¿Qué va a ser? Just choose. And the best way to do it, y lo digo based on my own experience, basado en mi, en mi experiencia personal es, eh, reemplace la frase. At my wife's birthday. Mm, no, okay, it's a birthday, so I think it's a date. Okay, or is it my wife's birthday, so if it's a cumpleaños, it should be a date, so it should be on, right? Y así, verdad. Está bien que nos hagamos bola, verdad, pero no bolo. That's something else. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, so think about this. Let me send you back to the breaker room. Okay. All right, so I'll, I'll be sending you to the breaker room right now so you can practice uh, the sentences, I mean, the time expressions in context. Lo voy a mandar a los breaker room so you can practice in context, okay? So, and here we go. Um, all right, go ahead, please. The rules are open and I'm sending the image to you in a second. Okay. Unámonos a los breaker rooms, please. Okay, um, let's see. En la compu, ya voy a ver si puedo compartir la imagen. I'm going to vale. share it for you, don't worry about it. Yo lo hago. Ah, ok, está bien. Ahí está. All right. Ok. Vaya, ahí está. Hecho por dos. Esa sería... Esa sería, si no me equivoco. La literal D. No. Uh -uh. No. La, la, sí. Ah, porque es su cumpleaños, ¿verdad? Exactly, exactly. Es el, su cumpleaños, entonces es on. Exactly, porque es una fecha. Uh -huh. It's a day, right? It's a day, correct. On my wife. Ok, en la uno. Yeah. Teacher, um, sí. voy conduciendo, solo voy a escuchar ahorita. That's okay. That's okay. Don't worry about it, sir. Cinderella. Okay. Carriage. Es literal A. Ah. Change into a pumpkin at, at midnight. All right. at but, but let's try to let's try to uh, to say let's say the uh, the sentence o como usted le funciona mejor, verdad? Uh, decimos la respuesta y después practicamos, you know, the pronunciation. It's up to you. O de una sola vez, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. It's up to you. All right? Okay. Continue, please. Sería, which soul we do in, at tonight go to a concert or see a movie? Uh -huh. Which should we do? Uh -huh. Which should we do? Uh -huh. So, at, no. at. in that case, uh, esa es una excepción, no decimos nada. Ah, okay. Okay. Uh, uh, for example, I can tell you, tonight is a great day. It is, uh, no, una frase mejor. Uh, mm -hmm. I watch the, the TV tonight. 
ok mm -hmm. miro la tele en la noche tonight, esta la noche tonight. esta noche tonight ah ok tonight. como que la palabra tú eh, omite la at o Ajá. Home, exactly entonces. exactly tonight mm -hmm. tonight esta noche significa ok gracias ok we can move it we can move it ok Christmas. Christmas is la four sería on. On Christmas. Mm -hmm. A number five. No, la five, la five, five. Yeah. Uh, on, on Christmas, usted puede decir on or at, pero la gente le va a decir que es at, pero en realidad las dos la puedo poner. At Christmas or on That's Christmas. That. On Christmas. Ok. Ahí. Sería... Typical. Yeah, typically or typically, typically, uh, typically, on, typically at Christmas we visit my grandparents in the country. Or uh, puede decir typically on Christmas we visit my grandparents in the country. Porque uh -huh. lo que pasa es lo siguiente: si usted ocupa Navidad como todo el periodo de diciembre, you have to say, verdad? En este caso puede decir in, verdad? In Christmas, porque es un periodo largo. Pero uh -huh. si usted ocupa Christmas como el 24 de 25 de diciembre, tiene que ocupar on, ¿verdad? Porque on. es una fecha. Entonces uh -huh. aquí es bien confuso. Pero si usted uh -huh. ocupa Christmas desde el 24 que agarre el avión y el 25, tiene que ocupar at. Entonces, at. mejor ocupemos on. <ríe> All right. En todo caso decimos uh -huh. in December, okay. pero nosotros decimos, ah, ya viene Navidad, pero Navidad para nosotros es todo diciembre. Mm -hmm. it, it, we celebrate uh, December 24th, right? Mm -hmm. okay. But in this case, it's on Christmas or at on Christmas. Christmas. At Christmas. At Christmas. Okay. okay. No, six. Five. No, la six. 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 <laughs> nice. Casi, casi. Yeah. All right. I'm going to stop sharing the screen because I have to visit some of your friends. So you have one more minute if you want to practice. Si quiere practicar, I leave it over there. So one more minute. Okay. okay. Thank you. Bye. Entonces. All right, so welcome back, everyone. Um, this one, I think it was easier for you. All right, I think this one was easier for you. Era más fácil, ¿verdad? Ese ejercicio anterior. Because ya, ya tuvieron 30 razones. You have 30 reasons, right? In the previous list. Ya tuvieron 30 oportunidades en la lista, ¿verdad? For you actually to, to make mistakes. So that's why it was easier. ¿Verdad? So um, here we go. Okay. Let me minimize this. Let's see if I'm recording. Yes, I am. Okay. Este fue como trial and error, ¿verdad? Prueba y error. This one, right? So this one was like trial and error. And just like this, it's difficult for you to actually learn something, ¿verdad? Pero esto como lo estamos acostumbrando, ¿verdad? Entramos en conflicto aquí, ¿verdad? There was a conflict because of this, ¿verdad? Porque 30, 30 phrases, it's a lot, right? It's a lot. But this one is easier. So, um, can I have a volunteer, please, who can read one, two, and three? May I please have a volunteer, please? Okay, yes, yes, sir, go ahead, please. One, two, and three, sir. Just go like uh, on my wife's birthday or in my wife's birthday and continue. Please. Read the sentence, thank you. Okay. On my wife's birthdays, I always bake her a cake and give her a a uh, piece of uh, jewelry. jewelry. Yes, jewelry. Yes. Oh, yes. Uh, thank you, sir. Um. Number two. Two? Yeah. All right. 
Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, Cinderella's career uh, turned into, into a pump peak at midnight. Correct. Cinderella's carriage changed into a pumpkin calabaza at midnight. Cenicienta. Okay. Number three. Which all we do tonight go to a concert or see a movie. Uh, X. Yes, correct. Or go to the English class, right? <laughs> you don't have any option, right? <laughs> right, Eduardo? <laughs> yeah, you don't have it. It's, it's COVID-19, verdad? It's the coronavirus, so COVID-19. So we don't have too many options, right? <laughs> nice. So with tonight, it's an exception over there, right? It's an exception. Okay. So may I have, please, another volunteer? for number four, five, and, and, and six. It could be a, a lady, ¿verdad? Una, una voz femenina. It could be right, a feminine voice, all right? No discrimination over here, by the way. <laughs> all right. Yes, may I have, please, somebody, or should I choose? Let me choose that. Let me choose. Uh, who do I have in here? Si gusta, Catherine, you help us with number four. Uh, Floor, number five. And Claudia, number six. Okay? Thank you. So go ahead, please, Catherine. Number four. Four and five. Or solo four. Number four only, please. Okay. We can move it to a house mm -hmm. in. Yes. Mom, yes. But uh, only if we can rent the upper apartment here. The apartment first. Thank you. So we can move to a house in two months, but only if we can rent the apartment first. Thank you. Yeah, that's perfect. Because you're talking okay. about months. And that's how you do it. But entonces ya vieron, esta es una idea para cómo utilizar in con meses, right? So uh, you can say, I will have my vacations in two months or in, in a month and a half. Voy a ir a vacaciones en un mes y medio, right? You can say that, right? In month. All right, so I think it's floor, right? Number five. Um, typical <laughs> in Christmas. That's okay. So, diga la oración y después vemos. Por favor. We visit my grandparents in the country. Okay. Thank you. Ya voy a regresar a esa porque necesito dar un, una explicación breve. So, I need to explain something to you. Thank you, Flor. And number okay. six, eh, Claudia, please. I need to meet in gym eh, at three o'clock. That, that's correct. Thank you. All right. Okay, so on, on Christmas, that one, verdad? Think about this. Logic from a Salvadorian uh, person, right? Christmas for us is the whole month. Eso le decía Dolores, que para nosotros Navidad es toda la época, verdad? From, from December 1st until uh, Dia de Reyes. That's what we think. Or Christmas can be December 24th, and December 25th, ¿verdad? El 24 celebramos Navidad. So that's for us. But if you think Christmas as a date, como, como una fecha, you have to use on, okay? But there's an exception. You can use at Christmas, okay? Or on Christmas. Nadie le va a decir, está incorrecto lo que está, está diciendo, but if you say at Christmas or on Christmas, will be okay. So that's it, all right, on Christmas. On Christmas. Uh, yo, yo diría on Christmas. La gente on le va a decir, utilice at, pero yo he visto, he revisado y he consultado, hay siempre eh, secciones, entonces lo, que, lo mismo que les dije, es el mes Christmas or it's only uh, just December 24th or December 25th. Por eso es que está como la sección, no nos podemos de acuerdo. So that's why you, you can say on or at, okay. Nice. Now let's use this in context, but for this one, I will not be sending you to the break rooms. No lo voy a mandar a los break rooms for this one because I want you to stay here. 
recapitul recapitulando. So, as a recap or as a review. So, take a look at this, ¿verdad? Sé que quizás un, es pesado este tema. Más un, on a Friday night, on Friday night, but that's okay. Okay? So, uh, on, on Saturday, on January, on Monday, February 5th, on Wednesday morning. Okay? Aquí hace alusión uh, of, a, of a date of the week, a date, a complete date, ¿verdad? The uh, day, month, and the specific, uh, I mean, date over, over here, and then just a specific time in, in the day. All right? ¿Cuándo hace ejercicio? When do you exercise? Um, on Saturday afternoon, you can say. ¿Qué hora se ejercita? ¿Cuándo se ejercita? El sábado en la tarde, right? Etc. If you talk about a month, in May, a year, 2008, periods of time, long periods of time in the summer, y luego esta frase no es que sea larga, pero así se dice, ¿verdad? Esta frase ya está dada. In the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening, pero decimos at noon, at night, en la madrugada que era at dawn, and we say at midnight, ¿verdad? So, and these are, this is the way it is, ¿verdad? And obviamente, obviously, for the hours. I think that this chart summarizes what I just explained to you. Entonces, si usted se pone a pensar, y voy a mover esta pantalla, I'm going to move this screen. Se lo presenté acá, ¿verdad? So, like this, with examples, pero era como bastante información. But I gave, I gave you the examples over here. Then we moved on with the uh, chart here, you, with this pyramid, una, una visual uh, image, ¿verdad? Una ayuda visual. And now we have this chart. Así que usted se puede quedar con el chart with the image, with the pyramid, right? Or with the first image that I shared with you earlier. Esta imagen está en, en el PDF eh, del manual, student manual, right? Voy a mandar toda la imagen, o sea, toda esta diapositiva in a second, right? But first of all, eh, let's do something over here, right? Eh, let me just one second. Listen to this. Complete the, the email using prepositions of time. Compare answers with a classmate. It is a hello, Fatima. Are you busy? Do you know about the new product that the company or whatever? There is a presentation about it, etc. So what you, what you have to do is use this in context. Vamos a utilizar eso en contexto, all right? But uh, hold on, before you, you, you uh, practice this, let me remind you of this. This is the question that you have practiced so far. Esta es la pregunta que hemos practicado hasta este momento. What time is it? But you can also ask, what time does the meeting start? Uh, porque utilizamos el does, porque es tercera persona. What time do you arrive at work? ¿A qué hora llega el trabajo? Okay, what time do employees leave? Los empleados, verdad, o colaboradores. What time do employees leave? Employees. And then you say it's the answer at uh, one o a. What time is it? It, uh, it's it's uh, one o a. What time does the meeting start? At eleven. Uh, I arrive at work at about six forty-eight. Uh, cerca de verdad. Aprendámonos esa frase, at, about. At, about significa cerca de o alrededor de. At, about. Or puede decir about 3 p.m. Or around 3 p.m. Tres formas de decir lo mismo, ¿verdad? Cerca o alrededor. Dice at, about, around, or about. ¿Ok? Entonces tenemos tres, tres formas. El about, perdón, el, el, el at, Es opcional, ¿verdad? It's optional, that's why it's in parentheses. Oh, usually around, entonces, puedo decir lo mismo, around 7 or 7.30 or about. Y esto nos pasa a nosotros, because sometimes you say, okay, I had breakfast around 7.30, or I had breakfast around uh, a quarter to 7. Entonces, when you don't specify, nunca vamos a decir siempre at or at, no, no, no. You have to be realistic over here. Why am I showing this to you? Porque... Bueno, pero le voy a preguntar a ustedes, ¿verdad? Eh, ¿Qué creen que es mejor? Do we do this exercise? La cuestión está que está este email, ¿verdad? Que alguien está escribiendo, entonces usted va a completar con las prepositions of time. Entonces, mi propuesta es lo siguiente, ¿verdad? Right? So listen to me, please. Practicamos este email y luego practicamos eh, este fill in the blanks 
con las prepositions of other, eh, it's the same, but in este sentido, you have to use the questions, you know, what time do you, or what time, etc. Entonces, les parece, practicamos en los break rooms, les digo porque ya los mandé, ¿verdad? Entonces pueden estar cansados, but if you think that you can do it, lo hacemos en los break rooms. Yes? All right, so let's do the break room, Ms. Salvador. Okay, let's do the break room, Ms. Salvador. So no problem, you said. So no problem. So here we go. Entonces, solo para clarificar, ¿verdad? Solo para, para clarificar y perdone que, que él repita demasiado esto, eh, pero I, I want this to be 100% uh, sure. So right now, what you will do is you will practice, uh, you, you will fill in the blanks, these emails with the prepositions of time in, at, and on, which is this one. And then uh, pay attention to this question, this structure, what time do you, or what time does, etc. Be careful with the prepositions over here. And then all you have to do is just fill in the blanks. Like for example, there is a recruitment of new employees on Tuesday. Really? Now take a look at the, the response or, the, or the, the answer. So really, what time does it start? Be careful, tengan cuidado if, you, if you're gonna use does or if you're going to you do. Fíjense en el sujeto, in the pronoun, and take a look at the verb. Now, you know, the verb and the, and the subject will give you the clue, ¿verdad? El verbo y el sujeto le va a dar la pista si va a utilizar do or does, pero siempre va a comenzar la pregunta, what time? ¿A qué hora se baña? What time do you take a shower? Okay? ¿A qué hora llega ella a trabajar? What time does she arrive uh, at work, etc. Voy a mandarles estas capturas de todo eso. I'll, I'll be sending this to you in a second. But uh, right now, let me send you to the breaker room and then we take it from there. Okay, so here we go. And all right, please join the breaker rooms. Okay, so I'll see you around. So see you around. Hola, teacher. No me parece la sala. ¿Se perdió?
B, espacio March, espacio Sunday. Vamos a ver. Sí, sería, sería in March on Sunday. Ay, ya no está comparando. Ah. Es de B. Porque es in March on Sunday and I can't start day. March. On Sunday. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. Estamos hablando Yo creo que es... de un mes y de un día. Correct. Correct. In March on Sunday and I can't that day. Uh -huh. So let's wait. Yeah. No, no, no. This is the first one, sir. <laughs> uh -huh. I can't say it. I can't All right. So, but let's do something, please. If you don't mind. Ah, right. aquí está. Yes. Uh -huh. Yeah. Could you read the paragraph? Yeah. Sir? Thank you. Okay. Hello, Fatima. Are you busy on Monday afternoon? Do you know about the new product that the company launches? There is a presentation about it and it sounds very interesting. It starts at 6.30. I work until 5.45, but I can meet, I can meet, I can meet you at six on the corner of First Avenue and Main Street. What do you think? There is another presentation, but it will be on Mar in March on Sunday, and I came that day. Let me know. Bye bye. <laughs> no, ya viste eso. Let me know. Bye bye. No se escucha. I'm sorry. She, it's it's a lady writing the email, so she she has she writes a lot and she writes a lot of details. So. I would just go, so hi, uh, something, there's a meeting this day, so see you, bye. <laughs> that's what I would do, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's what I would do, Too but, you know, though. women are, let's see, detail-oriented, so okay, nice. What about this one, sir? Okay, that's the second one. But I'll see first. you around, okay? See you around. Okay, let me... You send it to the WhatsApp. Ah, yeah, it's that. in the WhatsApp. Correct. Okay, I'm gonna see over there. There is a recruitment. Okay, uh, Complete the questions using what time on do or does practice the conversation. Uh, in March on Sunday, and I can that day. Let me know. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> okay. See you. Hello, Fatima. Are you busy on Monday afternoon? Do you know about the new product that the company launched? Their presentation about it, and it sounds sound very interesting. In Star at six early, I work. I work until five. 45, but I can meet you at 6 on the corner of 3rd Avenue and Main Street. Yeah. What do you think? What do you think? There's another presentation, but it will be in March on Sunday, and I can that I can that day. Let me know. Bye bye. Yeah, okay. that's perfect. That's perfect. Thank you. Continue. Okay. Hello, Fatima. Are you busy uh, on Monday afternoon? Do you know about the new the new product that the company uh, launched? There is a presentation about it. And um, it sounds very interesting. It start at six thirty. At war, I am war until five forty-five. But I can meet you at six on the corner of of uh, 
Fister Avenue and Morning Street. What do you What do you think? There is another presentation, but it will be uh, in March on Sunday, and I can that day. Let me now. Bye bye. That was good. That was good. So, Miss Pimentel, did you already practice this? Yes. Yes. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so you too, Rocio. Now listen up, please. Just some pronunciation details over there. <laughs> si me, si me, if you could go back, please, uh, Rocio, if you don't mind. Just to give you some feedback on the pronunciation, yes. Could you please go full screen? Or, or I can share it over here. All right, so uh, let me share it. Let me, let me, let me share it, all right? Sorry about that. Okay. Uh, remember, you say BC. Busy, como que va a decir bicicleta, right? Busy, but you say busy, eh, como cuando dice Brasil, busy, pero si dice con S, that's okay, busy, pero no diga busy, all right? And then you say new product, product, uh, launches, launches es lanzar, ¿verdad? Al mercado, launches, como almuerzo, launch, pero es launches en plural, ¿verdad? Lanzamiento, lanzó. Eh, sounds interesting or interesting? Uh, and then you said uh, Avenue, Avenue, Main, Calle Principal, Main Street. Okay. And that's it. All right. You may continue, please. Thank you. Thank you. All right. I'll see you around. Son tres. Ay, solo hemos hecho uno. Sí. It's actually two exercises only, all right? Ah, two so two. <laughs> sí. Es que la otra le puse la, la estructura de la pregunta, so it's a question. Y la tercera imagen, es ahí sí lo va a poner en práctica, the question, so what? Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Estamos aquí... En eh, un dilema. To be en un dilema. Be, is this the question? That's the question, right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> en la última parte. The dice, egg or the hen, el huevo o la gallina. The egg sí. or the hen. Dice, what do you think? There's another presentation, but I will be in March on Sunday. And I ah. can that day. Uh -huh. And what's the problem? Eh, nosotros pensamos que es in March on Sunday. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> ya, atinamos. ya ve, le atinamos al Team Marín. Es que it, it's not a day, it's not a day, solo está diciendo, ok, puede ser este, uh -huh. día, este mes y este día, right? So, uh -huh. si dijera ya, it could be on, on the 21st of March, o dice, on Sunday, March, la, una fecha al azar se la puede dar. Uh -huh. on, on, it could be on, on Sunday, March 25th, por ejemplo. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Ah, ok. <laughs> Y no andábamos tan perdidos. Sí, no, okay. no, no, están bien, están bien. Ahora, en, en el al next level, complete the question using right. what time or do or does practice the conversation with a classmate. Ah, tiene que ser eh, la otra, ¿verdad? Eh, la otra imagen. There is recruitment of new employees on Tuesday. Really? I'm sorry, Raúl. Share the screen, please. Si gusta, o quien está compartiendo pantalla. Si no, yo. Saraí. Saraí, ok. Sí, ahorita voy. Ok. Es, es, esa sería. Todavía no lo vemos. Hay que no se Ah, ok. Sí, este, ya le di compartir. Let me help you. All right. Bye. Para mientras, tal vez le okay. responda el sistema. There you go. Ajá, sí, esa sería. Uh, so ah. let's, do the, let's do the first one together, ¿ok? There's a recruitment of the employer on Tuesday. Really? What time? Are there... Do it start? Let me go back. I will go what back to the, to the but regresemos. Bye. Meeting is it. En pronombres, tercera persona, mi, 
mi uh, lapicero, mi chucho, my cat, es it. Un evento, cosas. meeting, a class, it. it. Ok, it. Mi casa, it. Objeto, cualquier cosa, evento, algo, it. Va que no it. sea persona, que no sea persona, mm -hmm. right? It's it. Es like the movie, right? Estar. Like the movie, right? Excuses. Think about that. Excuse me? Mm -hmm. What time is it? Ah, what, what time is it? ¿Qué hora es? Está recién referencia a la hora. What time is it? Mm -hmm. Es la hora. Right. Okay. So now, that being said, but in this case, tienen un verbo. Mm -hmm. Sería, what time is What time? What time? Does, do it start. Does start. Do. Do. Do, do it start. Vaya, comencemos, no, pero le menciono que va a ocupar el auxiliar, pero ahí tiene que, conjugar, tiene que conjugarlo, si es do or does. A mí que es do. Es, si se refiere a algo como tercera persona, ya sea hombre. que es una cosa, pero eh, das, hombre, does. Es das, 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 correct. Das, correct. Time, das, das se ocupa para tercera persona. Digamos. Exactly, take a look. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yo le pregunto. What time does the, does the meeting start? Y le vuelvo a hacer la pregunta y reemplazo meeting por el eat. What time does it start? ¿Cuál es, la lógica, ¿Cuál es la lógica de un pronombre que sigue después del nombre? Por eso es que se llama pronombre. Después de. Por ejemplo, yo digo, eh, where... Le hago una pregunta como que a, a, a Saraí de usted, Raúl. Le digo, a Saraí, where does... Eh, Raúl Lee, donde vive él, y usted me va a decir, ah, he, ya no me va a decir Raúl, me va a decir he, uh -huh. entonces he, porque ya mencionamos el nombre, uh -huh. ah, where he does lives. Raúl live? Me va a decir, ah, he lives, he, uh -huh. ya me dice, ¿verdad? Entonces, le va a poner el verbo y le va a poner ese al verbo. Ajá, interperson, uh -huh. cuando hace la pregunta, uh -huh. si es una yes no question, yo le pregunto, does Tiene, digamos, usted una hermana, Sara, yo le pregunto, does your sister work? Trabaja su hermana. No es de mi incumbencia, ¿verdad? pero I'm asking you, does your sister work? Tercera persona. Entonces, cuando usted ya me dice, yes, she works, etc. Works. Y yo mm -hmm. le pregunto, ¿y a qué horas eh, eh, comienza a trabajar? So, what time does your sister start, start. working? Or start work? Mm -hmm. ah, entonces, ella es tercera mm -hmm. persona. Pero si yo le digo, ¿qué hora es? What time is it? Ahí, 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 ahí termina. Porque hago referencia a it de la hora. Pero si la es hora. una acción, ¿a qué hora hace tal cosa? What time do you have lunch? ¿Verdad? Va a decir, what time do you? Si le pregunto que si Oscar, ¿a qué hora almuerza? Le pregunta a usted. So, Saraí, what time does Oscar have lunch? Or what time does he have lunch? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. okay. time does That's the logic. Does it start? Does it start? What time does, does it, it start? start? What time does does it start? start? El mm -hmm. que el recruit el, 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 el recruitment for new employees, verdad? El reclutamiento mm -hmm. va a comenzar esa hora. So that's the logic. You see? On number one. Mm -hmm. The recruitment, recruitment of new employees on Tuesday. Vamos a dejar currículo, ¿verdad? ¿A qué hora comienza? <laughs> ok. okay. And number two is let me meet for the meeting on Wednesday. So, I'll see you around because I have to help well, somebody John, else. That... Over here. Ok. All right. So, let me just one second. All right. Hold and on. let's meet. Uh, for... Let's meet for the meeting on Wednesday. Great. Complete. Hi, teacher. Hello, hello. Hello. Ya terminamos, pero tenemos una gran duda. Tenemos ah, una duda. Yeah, tell me. Yeah, what is it? En la número cuatro, nosotros uh -huh. decidimos por eh, por do. Ah, uh, por do. Let me see. Okay. okay. When, what, do, what when time, do you do you want to have dinner, dinner with, with me after, after the workshop? workshop? Ah, gran indirecta. <risa> el atarrayazo. Para el, sí, va. el, atarrayazo. Uh, para el 14. <risa> La más quemada, dice. <risa> ok, so yes, but. Yo no oigo. 
Buat time. Buat time do. Yes, but. Buat time. Buat time do. Restaurants close. Yes, because it's plural. El restaurants hace alusión a they, ellos. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, yes. Sí. What time do. Si fuera solo uno, sería what time does the restaurant ah. close? The restaurant. Si la S, the restaurant. Yes, that's ah, the okay. correct. Entonces la tenemos correcta. Yes, it's correct. And then around 7:25 p.m. Si le alcanza, yeah. go ahead. <laughs> All right. So let's go back to the main station, please. Thank you. Regresemos a la a la sesión principal, si gusta. Let's go. Okay. Back. Thank you. All right, so welcome back. Uh, yeah, it's almost time for us to, to uh, rest, okay? It's almost time for you to rest. So on a Friday, on a Friday night, ahora ya van a decir, ¿verdad? On a Friday night, on a Saturday morning, on Sunday morning. Voy a la iglesia on, on, on Saturday morning, ¿verdad? Eh, et cetera, et cetera. Voy a comer pupusas a los planes on Sunday morning. Afternoon, ya quisiera. <laughs> okay, that happens. Okay, and uh, visito a mi, a mi familia on the weekend, ¿verdad? You say that. Okay, let's see. Empiezan a llegar, ¿verdad? Empiezan a llegar. Um, let's see over here. Okay. It's almost time for us to go, but we still have, let's see, to review this. Necesitamos repasar, so everything is clear. May I have, please, uh, one volunteer to help me read the email paragraph. Un participante, verdad? My friends, to help me read the whole paragraph. Que me lea, hello, Fatima, until let me know, bye-bye. Yeah? So who can say me, please? No. Flor, thank you. Go ahead, please. All right. Hello, Fatima. Are you back on Monday afternoon? Do you know about the new product that the company launched? There a present presentation about in and uh, the song very interesting. It is that at uh, uh, six thirty. I work. I work until. Fine, 45. But I can meet you at six. Uh -huh, at six on? Six on the corner of, ese no sé cómo se dice. First, first Avenue. First Avenue and Main Street. Correct. What do you think? There's another, There's another presentation, but it will be on... In March on Sunday. <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. In March on Sunday. On yes. Sunday and I get that day. Oh, let me know. Bye bye, right? All right. Thank you. I'm sorry because me fue muy grande la letra. Okay. So are you busy, right? Busy, right? And then you say uh, sounds uh, interesting. Uh, First Avenue, Main, Principal, Main, Main, Principal. And that's it, right? That's, thank you. All right. So may I have please a volunteer that can help us with number one, number two, and number three, please. Yeah, we still have two more minutes and then I say goodbye. Ya me sonó la alarma por ahí. Okay, yes, can I have... One more um, volunteer, please. One, yes, Raul, go ahead, please. One, two, and three. Uh, and the number one, there is a recruitment of the new employees on Tuesday. Really? Mm -hmm. What time is? What time does it start? Correct. It start at 9 a.m. Yes. Uh -huh. Tomorrow. And number two. I'm oh, sorry. Let yes, me please. for the let me let's meet for the meeting on Wednesday. Great. What time do you arrive? I arrive mm -hmm. at 8.15 a.m. Okay, and three? And number three, tomorrow I have to go to the photocopy center. Me too. What time does the photocopy center open? It's open at 6.50 a.m. 
That's perfect, sir. That's perfect. Yes. Let me repeat the questions again over here. Really, what time does it start? Does it it eats, start? Yes, it elite as a referencia recurring of the new employees. Si le decía Raúl y a, a Saraí, vamos a dejar uh, currículo, verdad? Because there's a recruitment, verdad? Es un reclutamiento. So it hace referencia a esto. So y por eso es un pronombre porque ya va después mm -hmm. de la de la palabra que ya se dijo. So great. They say arrive. So you, right? What time do you arrive? Arrive, arrive. Como arribar o llegar. Ah. And tomorrow, blah, blah, blah. And then you say the photocopy center. A very good job, uh, uh, sir, because you have, uh, what time does the photocopy center open? What time does, verdad, does this, you know, the auxiliary over there, okay? Thank you. And then four and five, and then we say goodbye. And we see you again until Monday. Primero Dios. Okay, one more person, please. Oscar. No, okay. <laughs> okay, that's okay. Uh, so one more. Masculine or feminine, that's okay. You know, equality. Eh, Juan Carlos, thank you, sir. Go ahead, please. Number four, Wendy, do you want to have dinner with me after the workshop? Yes, by what time do restaurant close her? Oh, okay. around 7 25 p.m. Okay. Number five, Amanda has to take some reports to many departments on Monday. And uh, what time do they open? They, they open around 7.30 or 8.05. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. Yes, as you can see, as you're talking about restaurants, es el mismo sujeto, verdad? They, igual que acá, verdad? Restaurants. But what's the only difference that you say what, but what time do restaurants close? Porque son varios, verdad? Si fuera solo uno, you would have to say, but what time does the restaurant, you mention el nombre, close? Because it's third person, okay? But in this case is restaurants, verdad? Restaurants are around 7.25, etc. And then you go, they open. Ya me dio una clave, this is the key. And then we go. Uh, what time do they open? Do they open? Okay. So we're good over there. Uh, pronunciación, reports. Tienen que ser reportes, reports. Reports. Okay. Uh, one friendly reminder. Uh, la tarea, en teoría, tiene que estar section three, las activities. Most of you already did it. La gran mayoría ya lo hizo. So thank you very much. On Monday, we will start with section four, the last week. Llegamos a la última semana, casi, y tenemos la section four y el final exam. But some of you, uh, voy a mencionar nombres como Flor, que me dijo que ya la terminó. I know that some of you already finished everything, which is great. Have a great weekend and see you on Monday night. Okay? Nice. On Monday night. Thank you. Have a great night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Why, sir? <laughs>